Hello YouTube. Today I want to share with you my uh, experience as a aquarium hobbyist. Um, I just want to show you how to uh, keep this hobby without spending a fortune. Uh, actually, you, uh, I share with you what I my equipment that I over the years that I uh, think is the best. So and it's uh, not ex in it's, it's inexpensive. There's a lot of um, information on the internet that you will find that uh, teach you how to uh, keep uh, start the aquarium. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk about it today. Uh, 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 aquarium keeping is uh, not that easy if you want your fish to live long especially for goldfish. Uh, they, leave go they leave goldfish as beginner, but I'm, in my opinion, I don't think it's beginner because it's, um, goldfish needs uh, uh, clean water. So if the water is not clean, you can keep them for a while, but they will not live to their full, fullest potential, which will be like more than 10 years, and they can grow quite big. So. Uh, if you want to keep goldfish, uh, you you want to start with a big tank. Uh, uh, in my opinion, thirty garden is the smallest limit you can you you should use. And this one is a seventy five gallon. Uh, I just upgraded it. Um, people say uh, you need a twenty gallon for the first fish and the 10 garden for the each additional fish. Uh, I'm trying to keep uh, nine goldfish, because in Chinese, nine goldfish is a feng shui, good feng shui, good fortune. Uh, now I have eight. So actually, nine goldfish in a 75 garden is o overstock. But I have uh, a very big, um, filter, uh, a canister filter, and I will show you here. So if you, uh, I'm trying this right now, I'm not sure if the, uh, I have this tank for three, three months, so it's still early, and I will update uh, in the future. So I'm not sure, it, I hope it will work. The the aqua the canis filter I show you is um, three hundred fifty gallon per hour filter. So it it actually is a it's good for one hundred fifty gallon fish tank. Uh, it's so it's double filtration for me, and that's what you want. So even the tank may be small, but if you have uh, enough filtration it may can um, have enough to take care of the bio load of this uh, 75 gallon tank. Okay? This tank uh, is $200 on sale, so it's inexpensive including the uh, stand. And I like it very much because it's, it's more long than wide, so you have more uh, fuel angle. Give me Viewing uh, angle, and um, I have a lot of plants in here. Plants will uh, take away the nitrate, which is the last stage of the waste, the nitrogen cycle. You can read about nitrogen cycle on online. So plants also will help uh, to to take care of the bio load. Uh, the bio load I'm talking about is uh, also uh, already uh, have a lot of information online, so you you probably should Google it and uh, read about it if you want a successful aquarium. Uh, I just want to talk about the equipment for today. And I will put all the plant name on the description. The filter uh, name is brand is Sum Sum Sum, S-U-N, S-U-M, and it's made in China. Uh, it's a 
you can get it on eBay for about eighty dollars, and it's very inexpensive for this uh, size of uh, canister filter. And I think it's a very good quality. It's the same model as uh, 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 I don't remember the name. It's uh, Aqua Top. Yeah, Aqua Top, uh, which is um, like twice as much. Cost twice as much. So if you got this one, you will not regret. And it works very well, and you can see it's very quiet. And also, uh, the the thing that I want to know, to take note for you is the uh, intake pipe is not sealed very well. It they uh, connect uh, small tubes together. So if the um, Water level drop below the the uh, connect connection point. The air will go in. So I use the additional um, tubing to connect the uh, input tube together. So the air will not uh, go in. If that happens, then your filter won't work. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about my fish. Uh, I like uh, Orenda goldfish, so I have uh, many of them. And these two big ones, I got it from Petma, and they are thirty-one ninety-nine each. But as the, for the size, I think it's um, very worth the price. If you are good to, you, if you are able to keep them alive, then. Um, it's better than uh, buying the small ones like this one too. And this one, uh, I got it from Peco. It's a, when I got it, it's two inches long, including tail, and now it's three inch. And this black mall also bought it from Petma, and it has um, orange color, which I like a lot, and the telescope eye is very cute. And uh, two fish I want to talk about is that this one and this one. I got them uh, very interestingly because um, once I visited Peco and there's two couple. I mean, one couple they happen to um, bring these two fish. In, into Peco to uh, give give it away because it's too big for their tank. And I was there, so I adopted them. And they are doing very well in my tank. And this plant, I got it, this floating plant, uh, is called the Luigia. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. I will put the name on the description. Uh, I got it from the um, I got it from a lake, a creek, and oh, and I want to mention most of the fishes uh, or plants that you got from the plant, uh, the river or the lake has a uh, parasite maybe. So I um, found this um, paragard. You can bought it uh, at Amazon.com. It's not. It's inexpensive. It's like um, fourteen dollar for this big uh, bottle. This Perigal from Seacam is the best. Um, if you have uh, your if your fish has eek or anything like that, uh, bacterial infection um, or fungus, you can give them a, a dip which is using one mil of this paragraph for one third gallon of water. Uh, make sure to use aquarium water so the temperature will be the same. One mil for one third of gallon and then you dip them for one hour. This uh, cured a lot of my fish, so I really like it. So you sh should be uh, sure to get it.
and also you want to if you want your plant to grow I also found this uh, CO2 booster from API uh, it's uh, uh, the carbon um, the plant needs carbon to grow and in the aquarium there's not enough uh, if you didn't add a um, supplement so this I found also will help uh, keep your aquarium from um, algae growth. Algae growth seems to be inhibited by by this product. This in my opinion, in uh, my experience. Also, I have some um, home snail. If, if you can see this on the rocks there. This home snail also from the quick. And before I put the snail or the plant in the tank, I dip them in the paragraph, the, this paragraph I talk about. Okay? And I also have a mysterious, gold mysterious snack on the back, and they keep the um, algae in control as well. Okay, so I will leave you here today. If I think of anything, I will add, but this is pretty much I want to talk about today and I will update my tank in the future. Thank you.